feeling that this timetable has just been switcherooed and that is exactly what the starter is I think the discussing. starter's gone unless one of you is named Ranveer Gurja and a male <laughs> you might be the unless, wrong race <laughs> unless one of you guys name is named Andrew Lego <laughs> <laughs> his leg out running. Yeah, oh, he's on yes. next. No, he's meant to be on now, so I'm a bit confused by his timetable. But there might have been an issue um, with, I don't know, maybe athletes in the men's D and they go, women's C, all right, you're ready, off you go. Maybe they're all just walking about, they're not quite there. Yeah, but, you know, race time's race time. Like, yeah. men's D mile, 906. You're not meant to are you, are you here, 906? Yeah. Anyway, well, I, I'd like to get to the bottom of that one, actually. We'd yeah, like anyway, some answers. Another time. Yeah, we would. Yeah. We would like some answers. We would love some answers. Here we go. Also looking forward to uh, <coughs> to the women's D dash cash coming up as well. I hear there's a bit of a celebration as well from some of the Glenn Huntley runners in the women's really? D. 90th, 90th year since the amalgamation yes. of the women's uh, Glenn Huntley Athletics Club. Now they're Consolidated as one overall right, uh, club, yep. but they were women's and men's years and years and years ago. Um, a bunch of the women from that from the club are celebrating by running the race all together and dashing for cash. Hundred bucks each, not hundred bucks each. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks up oh for grabs. Boy. Oh boy! So yeah, that will be a point of interest later on. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy Whelan, for the kiss match. And I love it, Mitch. I, I tr I'm trying my best out. I'm only as, <laughs> as good as my co-host. So he lifts me up. <laughs> Nothing uh, without Mick. We're, let's, let's, let's focus on the race, though. Yeah, let's, let's focus, focus on, on the C mile championship. Fo I, focus on the race, but I also um, can't take my eyes off this comment that's, that says, very rightfully so, Jacob Ingridson wears the, uses the bodysuit for his 5Ks oh, and 10Ks. Oh, he does too. Yeah. So, so he started it. I mean, yeah. He did it before the Spanish guy, for sure. Before Katia. Yeah. Yep. 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 As Sam Prime and Claire Hodgart go one, two, through one lap of the Women's C Mile Championships. I know Lachlan on the inside there has the benefit of the rail sit. And it's Poppy O'Lachlan. But Claire Hodgart. Hodgart? Hodgart. Hodgart. He's going to try and stretch him out. Sam Prime right behind there. And still Poppy O'Loughlin. That's where you want to be. Where Poppy O'Loughlin is, that's exactly where you want to be. I In feel the like number three. A, a little mover from Mornington Peninsula. It's either Freya Brown or Kate Seibold. Mm, it's not too busy. Not too busy in, uh, in third, or fifth, third or fourth right now. No. Um, Claire Hodger, another traditionally distance-based runner. Um, loves the cross-country, loves the half marathon, loves the longer distance. Um, and she's showing her strength right now. But I think there's like, Lenny Williams behind him. And it's, it's, the, it's the athletes in third and fourth position that are probably just laughing their heads off right now, just uh, enjoying the sit. Yeah. Just going, hey, keep it up. Oh, I'm yeah, loving where Actually, we are none right of now. them are laughing now. I'm looking, <laughs> laughing internally, of course. <laughs> laughing, laughing on the inside. is a laughing is a state of mind. Yeah. Yeah. Grimacing <laughs> on the outside, but laughing on the inside. They're having fun. That's the most yeah. important thing. Look at this move here coming from the Costa Alves. She's got right up on the inside of Poppy O'Loughlin there. So she worked her way through about three people somehow through traffic. Just got her way yeah. through, and now she's tucked in right on the rail. But it is still Hodge. Hodjart? Hodjart. Hodjart. Oh, I'm struggling with that name. Hodge. So DG. Hard. Sammy Prime, right behind her there. And I believe it's Lenny Williams tucked in nicely. We have our Ringwood athlete making her way around there as well, which is Erin Mariner. So they've all sort of just waded towards the back. As you said, they're yeah. you know, internally laughing on the inside. That's, ha -ha -ha. Exactly, that's exactly what's going on. Interesting race this is panning out to be, isn't it? And uh, Is that Julianne Undrell? From uh, Collingwood. Collingwood. Yep. So she, and again, sort of sat at the back. So this is, there's a, wow, okay, now we got Lenny Williams coming back again. <laughs> so this is just wow. a game of cat and mouse at this point. Yeah. Sam Prime's been the only consistent figure at the front of this race. Everything and everybody else has completely swapped around. Da Costa Alves, 
So it's actually Ashman. So this is Rose Ashman, as a matter of fact, out in front. So Ashman, Prime, Undrill, Da Costa Alves. There's your four. Three of them starting to bridge a little bit of a gap, but it is Ashman. Rose Ashman, Sam Prime, 4.12 on the clock. Undrill not far away. Now we start to see a little bit of a move from Mariner. So these are all names we've sort of called throughout the race, but in about 40 different orders. And they seem to be working it out now. I reckon watch out for Mariner in fourth. She's made a really good move from the midsection of the pack, and now she's going to try and really work her way up there. But Sam Prime on the inside, and call it the outside of Ashman. She's looking the good. Sammy Prime knows how to win races, and here she goes. 250 metres to go, almost 200. She's extending the lead. She's got strength, and she's showing her experience here at Lakeside Stadium. The athletes a bit further back in the field are shuffling around as they have done in the race up until this point, but it is prime making her lead 10, 15, even 20 metres as she enters the front straight in the women's C mile. Wow, what a kick down as well. So Sam Prime has just absolutely left them in her wake. Kate Seabold from uh, Moynton Peninsula, who once again, an athlete that we didn't even mention until wow. very early on, has uh, made her way into second position. Woo! Sammy Prime, what a flying final lap. That was incredible. She was in total control there. She, as I said, she was our only staple figure at the front of that race. Everything else just seemed to be absolute carnage behind her. Absolute swings and roundabouts going on in Absolutely. second, third, fourth, fifth, all the way through to seventh. But Sam Prime takes out the women's C mile. And it looked like that was uh, Freya Brown, actually, who made her way into, uh, into second position. Freya Brown, there you go. The end. Another name, though. <laughs> so hold on. We, now we need to get this right. We're going back. Oh, the men's yeah. D mile. Okay. Just to be. It looks yeah. like they're down there. Just to be clear. Imagine if they just didn't get their race. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, well, we missed you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, boys, you've missed it. <laughs> we really wanted you to race. 